All right, so today we're gonna be pouring this big Nadura foundation. It's got a big pump truck in here. Pretty much all set to go, our bracing's all up. We put all our penetrations through the wall. Just finishing up a few things. Take you a walk around this pretty big house. This is only one section of the house. It's actually 60 by 31, this house, so it's pretty big. Then there's a, it's a duplex, so there's a whole nother section in the garage we gotta build yet. It's nine feet high, six courses, Nadura. Got rebar in every course, horizontally, and we got vertical rebar every three feet. Here's some strapping where you have a common seam. You have to strap that. There's a common seam on just about every wall when you build these. We got string lines set for our uh, straightening our walls. When you're doing that, you want the walls to lean, lean in a little bit so that you have to push the walls out. You don't want to try to pull them when they're full of concrete. You want to push them. This has a walk out at the other end. Walk out hole for the cellar entrance. Just waiting for our concrete trucks to get here. I'll try to get some footage as we pour this thing. We're going to do it in three lifts. So we'll fill three feet at a time all the way around. There's a bunch of strapping, a bunch of common seams where that front is. There's a bump in, it bumps in in the front. Our scaffold's all set up on the inside. Another common seam. Penetration for sewer right there. There it is, big, big pumper. I'm all the way out, you can reach 100 feet. Stay tuned. So we're digging the footers for the garage right now in the back of the house. There's a big cat in here digging it. It's pretty stony. rock this garage is going to be frost walls with Nadura then there's a crawl space going in the back here over here Painted line here represents the back section of the house. All the way over to here. Right where that some rebar stem out. There's a wall that's gonna go there. Back to that corner post. Over to that corner. And all the way to where he's digging, he's gonna come back. There's gonna be a garage up front and a crawl space here in the back. That's the stairway going down into the basement. There's the basement. We had to backfill all this so that we could dig. Had to put it in there and lift. 
They like to stick rebar out of these walls for strength. Put a footer underneath. Over here we actually bridged the, the gap with the uh, ICF blocks to bridge that over the gap. Stuck one, two, three, four, five, six rebars sticking out of this wall because this is full depth, obviously. And this is going to be frost wall, so that's how we handle tying that together. That's what we're up to today. ready to put our footers in and get them poured here. Uh, we got all our rebar in. That's what we got going on today. Sorry about the background noise. Got a dozer here. Pushing some dirt out of the way. A lot of extra dirt here. So, like I said, here's our footers. We're tying in there with a wall. Over here is going to be the garage in this section. This over here is the in-law suite. We're still wearing up the rebar, but we're just about ready for concrete. Uh, we put a Bilco door entrance in the back here. That's another tie-in rebar sticking out. We got a hunter going down the center. These double wides require a lot of pads for jack posts. So we don't mess with that. We put a footer right down the middle of them. Makes life a lot easier. There's the main basement. There's the cellar entrance going down into the basement. And there you go. Wayne's pushing dirt out of the way. We have concrete coming here in a half hour. Can't get a uh, conveyor truck, so we're gonna use the excavator. That big boy. Got a big, huge bucket on it. Bucket probably holds well over a yard. It's got to be five foot wide. We're going to use that to sling that concrete in there. I'll try to get some video footage. It's just two of us today, me and John, right there. He's sitting down on the job though. And here's Ronald McDonald doing his thing. You got it on record?
That's probably what, three or four wheelbarrows in that bucket. Raise it up. There's a stake right there. Oh, a the stake. that much. Here, I got work to do. So me and Johnny got the footage in today. Built in and, and poured today. Just two of us. Had a little help with Dwayne with the excavator. Getting the concrete in there. Couldn't get a conveyor or a pump or nothing today. So Come out nice. Yeah. Got all our dolls in. What set the dolls in? There's a bilco door in the back. I'll start laying blocks tomorrow. That's it for today. Beer 30. Tamping up the floor today, bringing in some stone and gravel for the in-law apartment. Rick's over there on the plate tamper. We always tamp everything in lifts. I've said that a million times, but I'm a firm believer in that. I don't pour concrete on top of uh, loose gravel or stone. So this is about the uh, sixth time we've tamped this already. This is pretty much ready for concrete here. We put some fine stone on top. Like I said, we tamped the gravel about three times, stone about two or three times. About three, four inch lifts each time. Using the big excavator to bring it in. This is how we do things. Do it right the first time. You don't have to come back and fix stuff. 